Welcome to my channel. In the previous video, we explored the essential Linux commands. In this video, we will use nmap to perform an in-depth scan of uh, the metas metasploitable machine and Windows machine, uncovering valuable information about its open boots and services. This process mirrors the techniques employed by ethical hackers and professional penetration testers in real-world scenario. So, what is nmap? nmap or network mapper is a powerful open source tool used to discover hosts and services on a network so it uh, scans ip addresses and ports it uh, detects open services like uh, ssh uh, http and ftp etc it uh, identifies operating systems and software versions and it helps find valuable systems on the network uh, before uh, launching any attack, a hacker needs to recon the target, figure out uh, what's alive, what's open, and what's exploitable. That's exactly what Nmap is built for. So, first, we need to identify the target IP and how we do that and it is by checking our IP address. So, let's use the IP address here. And by that command, we can see that we are using this IP address. This way, we can use uh, nmap to search the whole subnet. And we do that by uh, using this command. So nmap sn and the whole subnet 24, something like that. This command finds all machines, uh, all machines alive uh, in the same subnet, and the SN the stands for scan no port. This option disables the default port scanning and instead focuses on host discovery. It identifies which devices in the target range are online without scanning or open ports. So here we can see that we have this IP here and this IP here and we can see here the results in map done so it searched 256 IP addresses 3 hosts are up so this one so we have this machine have the 101 the metasploitable is 102 and windows machine is 103 so you can monitor uh, the progress of certain commands in real time so when we use that we can see what is happening under the hood but in real time so specifically you can use the following options so like so we can cancel that and use the v minus v and by this by using this so the nmap minus v uh, it makes nmap shows uh, more detailed output while scanning you will see real-time progress, which hosts are being scanned, and early results before the scan is done. So, as you can see here, it shows all the IP addresses it tries to ping or to search for. And if we go up here, so we cannot see the IP that, that is answering. We can see here. 102 is answering and 103. So the dash V is useful for <coughs> to see what is happening exactly. And then we see the same result that we have three us up in that subnet. So ex uh, another example. So let's use now uh, nmap. So the, the most basic command is nmap. Then let's take the uh, metasploitable machine and check so this shows open ports on the metasploitable machine so let's wait a little bit here here we can see that that machine has all these ports open so scan we can scan specific ports and we can run that against windows or metasploitable so, for example, we can use nmap-p and let's try uh, 
21, 22, and 23. And then the IP address. So like this. This is the IP address of the Metasploitable. And we can wait a little bit more. Uh, so it means that port is actively. So here we can see <coughs> open, open, open. So open in nmap scan, it means that the port is actively accepting connections. This indicates that a service or application is running on the port and is listening for incoming requests. Uh, an open port is a potential entry point for communication between the server and clients. And in cybersecurity, it might be uh, a target for further analysis for uh, or exploitation. So at the same time, we can so scan a range of ports map like this. So this way, we are checking the ports from one to thousand, and we can at the same time we can check all ports. Here we can see it checks all, uh, only uh, on our uh, so below thousand. So or if you can, if you want, you can scan all ports. So and let's try and map and map p only dash b and the ip address let's take 103 this time it's windows machine okay we need to add dash here let's try 102 this process should take some time because it is checking 65,000 uh, ports. So, how to detect a service version? So, we can use the, the command nmap s and v, the v for version. And let's take a Windows machine this time. So, Windows machine seems to be okay. So I don't know what's yeah. let's run it against the metasploitable. So as we can see here, it shows us all open ports and services and explanation of the service. So let's try the Windows machine again here. So this is very, uh, very important command that shows what services are running. So it performs a version detection scan on the target machine. So as we can see here, it is Microsoft Windows. Uh, you can see that these services are running. We have, we can use the aggressive scan. So we can try this in map dash a and the IP address so the the dash a activates ag aggressive mode which includes uh, OS detection uh, version detection script scanning uh, executes default and map scripts to gather the additional information about the target and it runs the trace route which maps the path packets take to reach the target, showing network hops. So, as we can see here, we can see the name of the Windows machine, uh, MAC addresses. We can see that it is one hop there. Uh, so, now advanced and stealthy techniques. So, we can use the SYN scan. Uh, and we can use this command and map s and s, big s and let's try the same machine here again so uh, this type of scan is faster and stealthier than a full connection scan because it doesn't complete the tcp handshake okay and map also can 
scan multiple targets so we can scan the first one and the two and at the same time we can scan the other one with the same command and as we can see here this is the result for 102 a metasploitable machine and here is the 103 which is windows machine we can see that these are so legal and ethical warning only scan uh, systems on you own or have permission to test scanning unknown targets without consent is illegal so in the next video we will explore the top five essential tools every hacker must know so take care and good luck uh, with your hacking journey and see you in the next video